Yeah, assalamu alaikum my friends and welcome to the next episode of my FIFA 15 player rating prediction series. Today we are going to do Trabzon Sport. A lot of you requested this team and they are coming back to FIFA 15 and I think that could be interesting for you who are new to the Super League and don't know every team and I think that is a great opportunity to get to know the players. Of course they have some great players you will already know from the other leagues which were in FIFA 15 and from the real life football and I hope you will enjoy it. If yes make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to comment down below which team we should do next. I'm open for every team you want to see guys so let me know it in the comments down below and let's start off with the first player. And this is going to be Kevin Constant who has played for AC Milan last season. He was a non-rare gold left back card and I think he will get a little downgrade because if you compare his season before the last season with the last season he was way better and got an upgrade to 78 and I think a little downgrade is okay. I think his card will be great. And I think he will stay at 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill move. But let me know what you think about it in the comments down below please. Yeah, the next player is a Turkish player. It is the goalkeeper of Trabzonspor, Onur. And yes, I think he will get a rating about 81. And a lot of you commented under my Fenerbahce predictions that Volkan Demirel was rated too high. And at this point I just can say Onur is a great goalkeeper. And of course he has deserved to be the Turkish national keeper because Volkan Demirel gets older and older. But in my opinion he is still better. But maybe he's not the best goalkeeper for the Turkish team. So that is my opinion. So I've rated Onur now one point less than Volkan Demirel. And so I think they could be on the same level of course. So please don't judge me now. I think they are on the same level and these are both great goalkeeper and the next player is Yusuf Erdogan who is a great player in my opinion and I orientated me at the card of Hakan Çalhanoğlu at the beginning of FIFA 14 and I think that is okay he had a 69 rated silver card and I gave now Yusuf Erdogan a 66 rated silver card and I think that is okay and he is just fast and has a great shot and passing. He's good at dribbling. He's so good, this guy. I can't believe it. And um, I think this will be a great guy in the next years at Trabzonspor. And yes, he is a great left midfielder. I have nothing more to say. You can watch a few clips on YouTube if you want to. And I think he deserves four star skill moves as well. Because he is um, a tricky guy. He played with Fenerbahce a few times and I was just thinking oh my god and I think 66 overall would be okay I don't know if he would have deserved a better rating and we are going to continue with Aiko Demir who is a center back from Turkey as well and I gave him a good 73 rated silver card and I think he has the potential to be better than this and I think he could be a really important man for the center back position in the Turkish national team and I hope he will improve in the next seasons or just continue his way because I think he's on a good way and yes he's a great center back he has not the slowest pace he's good at heading and defending what do you want more and I think his card will be a great silver card and the last player for today's episode is Oscar Cardozo who is coming from Benfica Lissabon guys and the first thing I had to look on at Foothead when I looked up his card in FIFA 14 was the one star weak foot. I cannot understand it because I think a player on his level who's pl who has played for Benfica Lissabon in the Europa League and Champions League and so on has deserved two star weak foot whatever. So I gave him two star weak foot, three star skill moves and the downgrade to 80 because I think he's getting older and older and yes. What do you think about it? I think he has a great shooting still at his age and is a pretty good dribbler and the rest is maybe average. He has pretty good heading. He's a tall guy I think and I think the Turkish league could be the right league for him at his age now. So in the Turkish league can happen so many things. So I'm really excited about it next season. Fenerbahce has now a new coach Galatasaray as well. And Besiktas has great players, Rabzonspor has some great players including Maluda and so on. 
Bursa Sport. You, you should never forget Bursa Sport. So I think it will be a pretty exciting season in the Turkish Super League and I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If yes, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel guys. Till the next time, I'm out.